This is gonna work out great. I'm going to simply turn it on. I'm shaking my entire CNC. I cannot pull that off. I'm just gonna carve a little quick V-carve. Let's turn this bad boy on. In this video, we are going to do a quick down and dirty overview of the new on the market air weight system that is just going to revolutionize the CNC beginners market with desktop CNCs. Let's get into it. Super excited to get this in today. This is the new Airweights vacuum system. This is the big one. This is the two by four. Let's open it up and see what we got. Chase, super cool guy over at Airweights. I'll leave a link in the description to this thing. I'll also use, leave a discount code or you'll get a 10% discount on any of these systems that you'd like. They have several different ones. It's like Christmas in June. Very, very well packed. This is the vacuum itself. And this thing weighs a pound or two. I'm gonna set this on the floor. Thing's definitely got some heft to it. It's a very good quality vacuum there. This is gonna work out great. It's gonna give me a lot of versatility on the uh, on the four x four here. A lot of times I only use part of this machine and it's usually the front part that I use the most. Nice, nice. Okay, let's look in here real quick. It's probably gonna be some directions, and some parts, and some power cable. Yep, all right. Let's get to the big box. I don't have a ton of room in my shop, so we're struggling a little bit. Way I can just put it on the ground and pull this up. May not be the best way, but when you're limited on space, it's kind of what you got to do. Very well packaged again, same as the vacuum. So in the beginning, I thought this box was actually uh, some instructions um, for how to do this, but it wasn't. It was actually the uh, the remote control. Uh, plug for this where you can actually turn the pump on like that with the remote. I absolutely love that. I've actually got the pump already uh, put together. There's directions on Airweight's website on how to do that. I didn't want to bore you with it here, uh, but I'm going to get this thing set up a little bit so I can kind of give you a little bit of demonstration. All right, let's get this over on the CNC. So I have this thing set up on here. Ignore my grid pattern and what I'm doing. This is just for demonstration. I've got a couple of things I wanna try. This is simply, let me have my face. This is simply a rubber stopper. It is to plug whatever section you're not using if you're using the air weights in this surface here. This is the one you would not want to cut all the way through. You definitely don't want to damage this or cut into this. This is not a spoil board. This is the vacuum table itself, so you do not want to cut into this. But the goal is to, to not cut into it if you're going to cut through something and just perfectly cut through it to where um, you got a few thou left over so you don't actually have to uh, worry about damaging anything underneath. So I've got this BAM core here. Um, this is... Uh, something I'm using for one of my new uh, products that I'm going to be launching. I just kind of want to put it up on here and it's going to be very specific to where I put it on my grid pattern. I do have my holes underneath this um, unplugged and then I have my grid pattern where this is touching all the sides around the open areas on the, uh, on the vacuum. I'm going to simply turn it on. Uh, it's very quiet. It's got a muffler on it. Uh, so that definitely helps. Obviously, you have to push down because that's like a rule. Um, smack it, rub it down, whatever. Just push down on it. Uh, you can hear the vacuum change, and I know it's already got a suction on here, so I can't. I'm shaking my entire CNC. I cannot. <clears throat> I cannot pull that off. Not, not at all. Jace does a good job of explaining how the surface area and all that works. Vacuum is let off. I'm able to easily pull this piece off of here. I'm gonna put my MDF on here. It's got some locating pins on the corners here. Locating pins for uh, 
cutting into your spool board on your CNC to locate the device and then you've got some locating pins that will locate your MDF um, on top. All right, I'm gonna get that set up. So I'm not sure that I'm the expert at putting this on, but I've got a pretty good idea of how I want it to go on. So I'm just gonna fold this back. Um, and again, mine is the two by four. So um, I'm gonna have to put two of these on. Gonna st stick that down here. I'm just gonna pull that back. And hopefully this works. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like a charm. This is that mat that you can actually can cut into. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna butt this one up to this other one. Put that on there really good. Just gonna flip this over. Kind of pull it from the center. Black butter. This is the mesh that I've got on here. Uh, again, this is the 2x4 machine. This is those two pieces you saw me put on with that quarter inch plywood underneath. And you can see that this, you can't, you can't move this either. Um, surprisingly too, also with all the open area here, I can feel it on my hands. It's definitely holding this very well. I could actually cut all the way through this uh, because I have this sacrificial uh, mesh here. Although I would still want to try to get it to where maybe I wasn't cutting into this so I could make this last as long as possible. So I've got mine set up here. Please ignore my grid pattern. I've got some ideas that, that I'm working with here. Let's pay attention to this right here. It's just kind of an example. Several different things you can do with this non-porous sheet. You can make different little areas. You do have to drill holes in this if uh, you want to use it this way. But you can pocket out certain areas or even little grid patterns or whatever um, to get you this grid set up if you're you've got repetitive things so i'm just going to turn this thing on all right you can hear the uh the vacuum change once it's pulling a good suction i don't even have to look at the gauge uh you're going to hear this this is just one of the little plugs i just got it stuck in here you're going to hear this when i pull it out you're going to hear the air uh, or the suction and that's it it's that fast and that thing is not coming off like i've got mine set up to where i've got an indexing thing over here so i can just throw something on that's actually going to cover these two holes for one thing. Um, it'll cover those and it'll actually be referenced off of uh, an index I have over here. There's tons of ways you can use this thing. Um, Jace has several of them on his site. Go over to airweights.com and check that out. Let me get this thing cut off so you can hear me. Cut it off, let some suction go. Still got to release the suction first. <laughs> Might have to release it with one of those pieces of tape. Yeah, you can hear that. That's how much suction that had. Now I can pull my piece off. Here's something else a lot of people don't think about. This thing is so modular, you can truly put it anywhere. It doesn't have to go on your CNC. You've got a bunch of sanding projects you've got coming up. You can definitely set this to uh, be a sander holder. Um, if I was sanding this board right now, I've just got it on here. You're not, you're not getting it off. Um, I can sit here and just sand. Release the vacuum, flip it over, sand. You've got so many options um, with this system. At least that. And there we go. That was on that same area there. So it doesn't have to be exact as long as your gasket is in there covering that, that area. Okay, so I want to be able to show you one example of me cutting on this. So I'm just going to do a quick V-carve. I am using just the bed, and this is how I would probably use it if I were just doing like small little V-carves and stuff like that. We are going to uh, turn the vac on. I'm just going to carve a little quick V-carve and... Uh, Let's watch it. Okay, I could hear the difference in the vacuum, so I know it's got a good seal. I've already got everything set on here, and we're good to go. So let's uh, let's turn this bad boy on. All right, the skitter cut off. All you have to do is just pull one of these out to release the pressure. Pop it right back in, this will come straight off, and there, oh, just a little fun with the Airways logo. So, pretty cool. All right, that was a little short and sweet kind of uh, test of this system and everything. I may do a longer review later once I get some time to play with this, but I played with it a little bit since I got it unboxed, and it's it's awesome. It's, a, it's what I would call a game changer for the hobbyist type CNC 
or small businesses. And that's where I'm looking at as a small business. Um, this has got possi possibilities for me uh, to actually get more systems to put on this machine as well as even my, my bigger Avid machine. If you want to support a small business, Jace is an awesome guy. Go check out his website. I'll link everything below. I've got a discount code um, that is an affiliate link and a discount code for you. Um, use my link below and you'll get 10% off your order. He has several different sizes. Uh, just check out his website and see if you find something that'll work for you. It'll fit on pretty much any CNC machine. There are a few exceptions with the industrial ones, but I would venture to say you could probably make this work on, on any machine out there. So I really appreciate it. That's all I got for today. See you later.